and moving to the judiciary, Oshu State Election Petition Tribunal has adjourned sitting on the petition by Governor Buiga Oyetola of the All Progressives Congress to October the 4th. The tribunal's chairman, Justice Tessi Kume, sets the date and gave the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the PDP, and the Ocean State Governor-elect Ademola Adilike seven days to respond to the pre-hearing to the pre-hearing form that had been served on them. The petition has challenged the results of the election in some of the local government areas in Ocean State. What happened was that we merely dealt with preliminaries. We have not gotten to the level or stage of hearing proper. There are certain aspects of procedure that we should first of all attend to before we can now go to the trial of the case proper. It is those issues that are supposed to be attended to preliminarily that we attended today in terms of filing of uh, forms, serving the other parties, the response of the other parties to the forms, questionnaires from the tribunals to how do you want us to handle this matter, what is your response. It is when we are through with all those things I have just enumerated, then we can now be talking in terms of call your witnesses. After the election petition being due sui generis and time sensitive, that's why we are suggesting that we can take a stand down for them to fill the form so that we come back in the afternoon. But uh, since they are insisting on having their rights, and uh, even though as we had in the tribunal, I submitted that in seven days is the maximum. It's not that it's time to stand that they must be given seven days. So, but in order to be fair to them, that was why the tribunal adjourned till next week for them to take their time, fill the form. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.